very proud of our team, the way we competed in the game. <coughs> I thought we uh, responded very well, knew that uh, Pitt would come out very emotional. They have a good ball club. Paul's a heck of a football coach. Uh, they hit us right in the mouth, right off the bat. Very proud of the way the guys responded back. Had a good drive on offense. We didn't score, but got the punt. And defense gets a turnover. We capitalized on offense. And I think we scored like four or five straight drives, like three touchdowns. But kept responding well. Defense finally got his feet on the ground. But, uh, you know, it's a first game. Uh, you know, we've got a lot of things to improve on, a lot of things. Way too many penalties. But we got the proud of the defense. Got some nice turnovers, a couple of nice interceptions. I uh, got some sacks, affected the quarterback, <coughs> excuse me, with a couple sacks. Mick Joyner had a couple of misses, <coughs> and uh, we did some nice, they made some stands on defense at times when he had to. Gave up some third down stuff, but we got to get cleaned up. Uh, offense, we converted pretty good on third down for the most part, most of the night. Uh, I guess we're 7 of 11, which is always important. The red zone, we're very happy the red zone until the two drives and kick field goals at the end, which we, we should have got those in. But, you know, Pitt is a good defense. They were the number 17 defense in the country last year. But we have a lot of work to do, guys. A lot of work, but we have a good football team. We've got to stay healthy. we got to take care of our guys and keep playing them one at a time. We have a chance to have a good football team. Questions? Jimbo, what happened on the two incompletions? No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Could you talk, just talk about James? I think one of them is pretty good to me. Yeah, yeah. 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 One Kenny had looked like a catch to me, but I couldn't see it. But uh, could you just talk about his performance and uh, how he I played? was very. It, it's one ball game, guys. He played one game. That's it. And he, but he did a great job. As long as he keeps the process in mind and keeps working with great habits, everything will be fine. And that's what he has to do. It's not about age. It's about habits. You have good work habits, you get good results. You got ability, and he does that. I was very pleased the way the poise he showed in the pocket. I mean, like got a lot of checks, got his hand out of a lot of plays at the line of scrimmage. Added a lot of plays with his legs, but I'm gonna tell you this: guys around him made plays. Those receivers around him made plays. We ran the football, we blocked, picked up blitzes. The offensive line did a nice job. Nick O'Leary had a career game, three touchdowns. I mean, I thought we, the guys around him played very well, but he did a nice job of keeping himself composed and poised and competing in the ball game. Jimbo was one game, but he had five touchdowns <coughs> and only two incompletions. So, how do you critique his performance? Yeah, good game. <laughs> <laughs> it is only one game, but you can't blame people for sitting out here and saying, wow, when they look at the No, I play. mean, it, it, there's nothing wrong with that. He just has to remember it's one game and keep it in perspective that he just keeps playing football and keep the great work habits. And the, and the reasons he has six X now is the same thing he needs to keep doing in practice, and he'll get good results. Coach, will you try to kind of wean him away from the media? I'm sorry? Will you kind of try to wean him away from the <coughs> media? I mean, obviously, after tonight's game, you know. No, we'll have his normal routine, but we're not going to change it. We're not going to move it up. We're not going to move it back. He'll handle the same routine like he always does, just like we will in practice. Practice won't change. His routine won't change. We'll keep him right right on the course and keep him true to the process and create good habits. Knowing him, Jimbo, I'm sure you don't. it, it won't be difficult to keep him in that mm -hmm. one game. You know, just... It, Talk about his personality, personality that will allow him to not get over. One of the things I love about him, he's very critical of himself. He's very tough on himself. When you, when you get on him, he responds in a positive way, like, I'm going to show you. And he keeps things in perspective. And I think that's why he has success tonight, because he comes to work every day. He has a bad day. We address it. He fixes it tomorrow. He does a great job of that. And I think that's what you have to do. You have to stay hungry. you you, you got to stay hungry. got to keep fighting for those crumbs. And just, keep, and just get a crumb. That's what he did, and that's what I think he'll continue to do. Jimmy, you didn't try to protect him all first two plays. You call pass plays, ran him the next play. So you came up with a game plan. You were going to let him go. I did, and, and one, two things I wanted to do. I wanted to be able to. I didn't. You got to say run it, run it. In his first pass is third and ten. You put him behind the eight ball. Let's throw it when the odds are on our side. Let's get him in the flow of the game. Let's get him in a groove. Things that we did well doing camp to get him in the flow of the game. And then as, he, as that grew, then it, it took off. And that's, I mean, everybody wants quarterbacks you protect them. When you protect them so much, every time they throw, it's a bad situation. The best down to throw them is first down. And be aggressive, whether it's play action or high percentage, quick pass or whatever it is. And that was our goal coming out. And I wanted to get him off fast so he could just get a comfort in the game. And I always like to when I play. You get that first completion or two, then you start to flow. And you get hit. I wanted to run him early. He hadn't been hit. I want to get him. I want to get him hit early. Now you know you're in the football game. Now you get to play. And I thought he handled it tremendously. Those uh, early their their first drive and their when they had it going, were they doing anything you guys didn't expect? No. Well, we did two had two great plays and busted a third down coverage. 
and they had a, had a big third down and got a momentum. And just, we lost the edge three times in idle speed plays. We got to get that fixed. We lost contain. You know, you when they, when you're in war and they surround and they get outside you, I get outside your flanks, you're in trouble. We got to learn to contain. They did a couple of outside plays, and again, they have a nice football team, and uh, they Paul does a great job. At you that know. time, especially seeing like Jalen's interception early kind of turned things around. Yes, it did. It was huge, and. Uh, and we were able to capitalize, and they come full out blitz on that one. He stood in the pocket and got the ball out to O'Leary and took a shot, and, and we got what we had to do. And there was I, that's what I liked about our team. We got hit in the mouth, come out, had a little series, then responded right back with a play, and then we finished, and we kept playing as a team. We just kept playing the next play. I love the way we competed in the game from that perspective. Did you know you have a good matchup with O'Leary on those plays? Is there something you yeah, saw? Yeah, I, I, I like we like that in certain situations. We knew we could get Nick the ball, and when Nick gets one on one, he's tough to handle. A lot of people, I said this last year, we caught a lot of balls like that to him last year. All of a sudden, they doubled him and gave us somebody else. You know, so it just worked out tonight, and James made the right read and got the ball to three people. And that's one of the things I liked about it. He distributed the ball equally across the board. Tight ends caught it, X's, Z's, uh, slots, got the ball in the backs a couple times out there. You know, we distributed the ball well now and knew he was making decisions and not predetermining his reads. How about his blocking? <coughs> You got a lot of work to do. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, I'm sorry if this has been asked already before, but did you expect him to come in here and go 25 or 27? No, oh, you time? don't ever expect anybody to do that, but I thought he would play well. I expected him to play well because he practiced well. And and I know with the game plan we had, the thing that we talked about, he felt very comfortable, and I knew we had a good football team around him. And it was just a matter of him just settling down and making the throws. But you don't ever know until the lights come on. Guys, you don't ever know. You don't ever know. I thought. <coughs> but I've thought wrong a lot of times too. <laughs> In the past, I'm very proud of him. Again, like I say, it's one game. Got to stay hungry and stay true to the process and keep having good habits. You'll get good results. And that defense we saw tonight, I mean, you guys really got after the quarterback. Yeah, we did. And we liked it. We got to affect the quarterback and pressure. Early, we, when we did more, they made some throws. He could throw the football. I liked him at high school. He was a good player out of high school. We recruited him out of Philadelphia. And then, I mean, I, which, I can't remember which school, but I remember we liked him. And when he had time to set his feet, he got the ball down the street. He's a good player. That receiver. Oh, was he all right? Did he get cramps? Or what did happen to him? He's a very good player. They got, they got a nice team. And uh, <clears throat> from that standpoint. Is there any update on Trey Jackson, Coach? I, it's like a, I, I will wait and see. Look, I can ankle. Okay. I'm very proud. They were, hey, talk about Ruben Carter. Stepping in and playing three quarters, never knowing when the number's being called. Jumping right in the first full time he's playing. Ruben, we said Ruben had a good camp. He went in and did a nice job in the game. I probably could have helped him a little more game. Some K passes and let him cut a little bit. I put him on an island on some pass pro. and he I mean, they got a hold or so, but he did a real nice job. and very proud of him coming in. And we didn't miss a beat and kept it on play. And through three quarters, your starting trio of wide receivers played a lot and played well. I guess just, again, talk about how the, how well they well, played. Well, I think that when you're a quarterback, I said this before, you got good linemen around, you got good backs, you got receivers. And when you're a young guy and guys are where they're supposed to be and getting open and you can make your – you can worry about yourself. Because I always say this, when young quarterbacks get in trouble is when all right, they do what they're supposed to do. All right, the guy around him, somebody runs the wrong route, falls down, something bad happens, and then he's got to create something from a bad play. That's where young guys sometimes try to do too much. And from that standpoint, two things he did tonight, too. When that happened, he kept his poise, kept his eyes up. And I'm going to tell you what else he did. When he was under duress, kept did a tremendous job of keeping two hands on the football in the pocket and protecting the football. And long guys, when I mean long guys in the pocket, have a tendency to have their hands go out. And we worked extremely hard on that. And he protected the football. Well, we didn't have a turnover, am I right? Yeah. Right. And I mean, that, that's as impressive as to me as, all, as, as the other touchdowns we scored. One last question, Coach, on the radio. All right. Thanks. All right. I don't like you either. <laughs>